In this video, we will have a look at the case of Cox and Ministry of Justice. Mrs. Cox worked as the catering manager at Her Majesty's Prison Swansea. She had day-to-day -day charge of all aspects of catering at the prison, including the operation of the kitchen, where meals were prepared for the prisoners. She was in charge of four members of staff, and there were about 20 prisoners who worked in the kitchen and came under her supervision. On the 10th of September 2007, Mrs. Cox was working in the kitchen with a catering assistant and about 20 prisoners. Some kitchen supplies were delivered to the ground floor of the prison and Mrs. Cox instructed four prisoners to take them upstairs to the kitchen stores. During the course of this operation, a sack of rice was dropped by one of the prisoners and burst open. Mrs. Cox bent down to prop it up and prevent spillage. While she was bent over, another prisoner, Mr. Inder, attempted to carry two sacks past her, lost his balance and dropped one of the sacks onto Mrs. Cox's back, causing her injury. The Swansea County Court on the 3rd of May 2013 found that the accident occurred because Mr. Inder had failed to take reasonable care for Mrs. Cox's safety, but dismissed that claim on the basis that the prison service was not vicariously liable for Mr. Inder's negligence. On an appeal against that decision, the Court of Appeal allowed the appeal, stating that defendants cannot avoid vicarious liability on the basis of technical arguments on the employment status of the individual who committed the tort. The Ministry of Justice appealed, which was dismissed by the Supreme Court. As per Lord Reed, it would be as naive to imagine that all employees are subjectively committed to the interests of their employer as to imagine that no prisoner working in a prison kitchen derives any satisfaction from doing his job well or from obtaining the vocational qualifications available to him. The fact that a prisoner is required to serve part of his sentence in prison and to undertake useful work there for nominal wages binds him into a closer relationship with the prison service than would be the case for an employee. It strengthens rather than weakens the case for imposing vicarious liability. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please subscribe and leave a comment below of what other cases you would like me to explain. Have fun, stay safe and obey the law. Cheers everyone.